And remember, with humility and humbleness, if Allah has given you the opportunity to get close to Him, don't think that others are not close to Him. I tell you why. How many good deeds are there? There are thousands of good deeds. Do you agree? How many sunnah deeds are there? Hundreds of thousands. Do you agree? So if you are engaged in 20 good deeds, someone else might be engaged in 40 good deeds, but totally different from the ones you are engaged in. So when you look at them and you see what you are doing is not there, you start thinking this person is not religious. But hang on, they have engaged in other deeds, perhaps much more than you in quality and quantity. And you don't even know. So stop judging. Never judge a book by its cover. If Allah made it easy for you to cover yourself with niqab, say Alhamdulillah, thank Allah. But don't look at someone who's not there on that level and think these people are not even on the deen. If you have grown your beard, Alhamdulillah, never look at someone without it and think these people are not there. Perhaps they respect their parents and you don't. Perhaps they do not backbite and you do. Subhanallah. Perhaps they get up for tahajjud and you don't. So good deeds are plenty. They are not confined to what you alone are doing. Remember that. May Allah open our doors. May He grant us respect of one another. May He make us give up the backbiting, the slander, the gossip and all other evil. Respect and honor of the Prophet is only through following what he has said. He does not want anything else. He wants us to follow his example, to follow his way, to follow his commands, to make sure that whatever we do, we get it from his instruction and cut out whatever will displease Allah because we need to focus.